And hi everyone, we are live. <laughs> After Chrome gave me a little, um, <laughs> a little shock by refusing to work. Um, now we're live. My name is Frauke Möbius. I am a German therapist and coach. I'm bilingual German English and I primarily coach authors and writers on mindset issues, on writing blocks and on limiting beliefs. My homepage and of course this Facebook page is called Writer's Dream Coach because I help you find your dreams as writers. Now as you probably know, <laughs> it's kind of hard to escape this in the writing world. Um, yesterday a huge event started that has millions and millions of people worldwide write like mad. It's November Novel Writing Month or National Novel Writing Month as it was originally called and um, it's a huge challenge to write a novel in one month defined as 50,000 words. <laughs> That's a simple this definition. I know people who only do 10,000 and call it a win. I know other people who do 100,000 because it's so much fun and because they have so many ideas. And today is day two and you may have started just like I did. I started my nano novel yesterday and uh, I've participated in nano several times and I finished sometimes, I failed other times. I know how this feels. So maybe you started writing yesterday and maybe you got the average word count that you need to finish on November 30th, which is 1,000. 667 words, you'll end up a little over 50k. I think it's it's uh, 50,010 if you have the exact numbers. Um, but anyway, you may have started writing yesterday just like I did, <laughs> and maybe you didn't make the word count yesterday as I did. <laughs> and we writers are a bunch of people who continuously question ourselves and our abilities and our dreams and our talent and you know all of these things. We have a lot of self-doubt and it's quite possible that you look at Nano and you look at those five, 5k words, 50k words, five, I'm sorry, 50,000 words and um, you might think how in the world am I ever going to do that? And you might think, can I ever do that? Who am I to decide that I'm a writer who can write a novel? That's the classic self-doubt. That's the classic fear of failure. And the truth is, it's way too early to say if you can do it or not. You've got another 29 days, including today. And um, it's way too early to say that your novel is going to be bad. It's way too early to say um, you can't do this. Let me tell you this. Um, it's a classic self-doubt thing that uh, we, we do because we need to kind of look at our work critically in editing and we need to look at what we do and we need to get better. <laughs> but there's nothing that says you can't do this. Well, well, the, the reasons, but basically nano means sit down and write. Don't stop to doubt yourself. Don't stop to listen to your inner critic. Don't even stop to think about plot or characters, and I'll talk about that in the next couple of weeks. It's just supposed to make you sit down and write. And I can say that in order to do the average nano word count or what I prefer to do 2,000 words per day. That takes me between 90 minutes and two hours. It kind of depends on my focus, on how much I have to think about what's going to happen next. But this is the, the time investment and I type fast, it might take you longer. But basically it's a time investment of 90 minutes to two hours every day for 30 days. And this is going to be hard for some people. 
and uh, hi Benita, nice to see you here. <laughs> and um, yet it is doable if you decide that you want to do this. This is key, by the way. Um, if you want to do this for someone else, if you think you're going to do this because your friends are doing it, it has to be a desire. <laughs> And right now, if you feel if you feel terrible because maybe you failed yesterday's word count and you're already behind and you don't have those two hours every day and you may play catch up for the rest of November and, and scrounge words and and uh, plot in, you know, whenever you're commuting or God, have any five minutes standing in line or something, um, go for it. And I would like you to remember what made you think this was a good idea before you actually started writing it. Because I know what nano is as well. Nano is an incredible thrill. I mean, imagine there's millions of people worldwide. And I mean this, literally millions who are in the same situation you are right now, deciding to do that novel. <laughs> And uh, deciding to do it, and um, this is the woo-woo stuff, I sometimes do this, but just imagine the energy of these people, millions, and I don't know how many signed up, I haven't checked the nano forms, but there are millions who registered on the nano forms, and there's lots and lots of people who don't even register to do it anyway. These people are creating a certain kind of energy. It's the best month to actually write a novel because there is creative energy generated by millions of people in the world and you can just tap into it and um, open your mind to that energy and, and uh, you know, kind of soak it up and send it out and uh, use that momentum, use that thrill, use that community. Um, nano forums are awesome. But you'll find nano stuff all over Facebook. Every major author group has a nano sub group. <laughs> um, I have, uh, well, I support people in my own writing group, the right mindset, um, throughout the year. But of course, we can we can talk nano. We do talk nano, and I post my blog posts for nano to to support you. Um, Join these things, join, go to these places, soak up that creative, enthusiastic energy and let it feed you. And when you feel it, give it back. Share in those groups, share with your friends, share on Facebook. You can use the hashtag nano and everyone will know what it means. And if you still doubt yourself, if you still think, oh, I haven't really written anything serious, and I'm not a writer, and I, I mean, I wanted to be a writer all my life, but I don't really know if I have it inside me. Let me tell you one thing that I firmly believe. I believe that we humans are storytellers at heart, that storytelling is basically in our genes. Now, some people are better at this than others, of course, but Imagine the Stone Age humans sitting around the campfire in their small groups. I mean, we used to live in little groups of 30, 40 people, maybe little family units. And they used to tell stories. Stories were teaching tools. Stories were entertainment. Stories were bonding experiences. Um, it's in our genes. It's in our heart. And you may think you don't know uh, much about how stories work, and I want to contradict that as well. It's another limiting belief. Because you know storytelling. Let me tell you, you've been listening to stories since you were a little child, and you may not have been fortunate enough that your mother or your father read to you or your grandparents. If they did, well, you were soaking up storytelling as a kid, but even watching TV and watching movies, these are other media for storytelling, but it's still 
teaches you the essentials of storytelling. It teaches you about the beginning, the middle, and the end. It teaches you about the hero's journey. It teaches you about growth and development. It teaches you about pacing, how quickly a story moves and how it changes from from you know throughout the story, how the tension changes, how the pace changes. You know this stuff. You may not know it in your brain, but you know it in your heart. You know how this works. Let me tell you this. And this is what I like to call the writer brain. Um, and it's something you can activate by turning off the inner critic, by joining this nano madness. It's a kind of madness, um, <laughs> um, kind of a math madness, actually. But you can you can join this, and you can you can you can jump into this, and you can unlock your hidden, your secret knowledge is there about how stories work and how you can tell a story and how this functions. And I may tell you, the story won't be perfect when it's written down and you reach the 50k at the end of November. Or maybe you only reach 40, it doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is you start telling that story. And um, once, once you're done with it, it's, it's not going to be perfect. No draft is perfect. Um, I don't believe in rewrites. I kind of work in a different way, and my stories are pretty well-rounded when I'm done with them. Um, and um, it doesn't matter. It's still, it's still not going to be perfect. No story is going to be perfect. You have permission, official permission by myself. <laughs> and this is not as silly as it sounds. Um, you need to hear this sometimes. I do this a lot as a therapist and coach. I now give you official permission to do nano, to participate, to write your heart out. Tell the story that's been living inside you for so much time. I mean, I'm, honestly, I believe that, at, that everyone has stories inside, <laughs> and we need to find ways of, 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 of sharing them. Your story has value. So you have permission to write the story you have permission to do nano, and you have permission to enjoy this without self-doubt, without fear of failure, without your inner critic interfering. These are four weeks and a couple of days. Four weeks where you can just write. This is the whole point of nano. Write. Be a writer, live your dream, and just do this. And Know that I believe in you, and uh, go ahead, join the right mindset, and um, it's linked to the Righteous Dream Coach, and um, we have daily threads to support you to um, crowd by your work count, where you will find support from myself and other members, and uh, of course, no live video with me is going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's done without a tapping round, so we'll do a little tapping round on self-doubt and uh, permission to be a writer in just a few moments. But most of all, put this aside. And what you can do is you can actually take a piece of paper and write down all your, yes, I'm a writer, but <laughs> I have no experience, I have... Uh, no training, I don't have any, I've, I've never did any writing classes, I don't even spell very well. Write all these down on a piece of paper, all these objections that your rational critic throws out at you. Write them down on this piece of paper and then take the piece of paper and fold it and stick it into an envelope and put it away. <laughs> Unfold it. You can take all this, you can take it out um, on December 1st <laughs> and you can read it again. But for November, this has no room. All these yes, buts, all these fears, limiting beliefs, all these blocks, they have no space. And you know what? Chances are you'll write and have fun. And you can get back, go back to these objections and inner limits and um, 
nothing will change except you, you will have written a novel. <laughs> and then, you know what? Even if you write that novel, nobody will see it until you design. It's time to share. I wrote a novel in, in 2009. I know, observal, but this particular one I finished in 2009. It was a German novel, because by that time I was still having an agent, and it was difficult to sell English language books, so I wrote that novel in German. It's called Finn and I actually published it this year. So it took me eight years from a mad writing dash in 2009 to actually go through the story and... Mm, adapt a few things, change a few things, take a little trip with my dad to inspect the area of the showdown. <laughs> that was so awesome. And my dad made me promise that I published this before he took me on the trip. So, I had to. This is what Nano can do for you. It can leave you with a novel that has a pretty good base. It will need editing. Of course it will. Every story needs editing. And you will find ways of making it better. But without writing it, nothing else will happen. So go write your heart out this month. Scrounge the time. Um, write in the supermarket line. I know people who write on their phones. I personally couldn't do that. I love my keyboard. I love my desk. Um, but I know people who write on their phones and they get amazing word counts that way. And of course you can sync it through various systems. I'm no expert in smartphones, but there are systems where you can sync the text and have it in your whatever computer system as well. Plot while you're commuting. Um, <laughs> I plot in bed. <laughs> it's the best place. Um, but do write this November, do not know, and I will do some tapping. Um, the easiest way is to just copy what I do, copy my words, and be aware of the feelings inside you, and I really hope that with a little tapping round, I can encourage you even more, because there's no better way of trying out what you can do. It's, it's an awesome opportunity to, to test your writing through, to test your stamina, and there is no shame in saying, I can't do this. I have a friend who wanted to do nano, he wanted to be writer, and he said, there's no way I can do 50,000 words in one month. What I will do is I will start on November 1st, and I'll make it my novel writing year. And he had an average word count of 300 and something a day. 300 words. That's just a couple of paragraphs. It's less than a legal page. You know what? He finished that story on Tuesday, October 31st. And he wrote over 100,000 words in a year. That was his nano novel, and I am impressed, I am stunned, and this is what can happen. If writing 50,000 words in a month isn't for you, that's perfectly fine. But if you feel this urge to tell a story, start writing today. <laughs> And continue writing. Now, I don't know how many of you know EFT. I'm just going to do this round. I'll, um, I'll go quickly through the points so you know what I'm doing, so you know where they are, and then I'll take the round. We'll start at the side of the hand. Um, it doesn't matter which side of the body you tap on. Um, you can switch sides. We're using acupuncture meridian points, and they are the same on either side. Of the body. This is where we'll start. Then we'll move to a point that I call inner that is called inner eye. It's where your eyebrow starts, to the left or the right side of the bridge of the nose. 
Then we'll move to the outer eye point, which is on a line, on a vertical line through your eyes. It's on the side, on the bone. Not on the temples, but on the side, just next to the eye, on either side of the body. Then we have under the, oh, under the eye. Sorry. <laughs> I am so used to the routine. Under the eye is the next point, and it, it's like you imagine a line through your eye, and uh, you tap just below your eye. This is why I need better <laughs> these small glasses so I can do this. Next point is under the nose. Very easy, self-explanatory. The chin point is also extremely simply, simple to find, middle of your chin. The other one I'll have to explain, it's the collarbone points, and you follow your collarbones to do their end. They end in a little knob here. And then you go a little deeper, where it's softer again. And I put a thumb on one spot, and I put two fingers on the other. And that's where I tap like this. This is the collarbone point. And we have under the arm point. It's just use the flat of your hand to slap your ribs. And the final point we're going to use is across the wrist. And I, I just tap it with my fingers like this. There, if you do EFT, you will know that some people use the top of the head point, some people use the third eye point. I don't. <laughs> top of the head is sort of like a reserve point if I need an extra one. But I usually just stick with these classic traditional points. And here we go. And just repeat after me, just join right in. And uh, I hope you'll follow it. I hope you'll feel easier about writing when we're done. Even though I'm not sure I can do this. I so want to be a writer. But I really don't know if I can do this. Especially not 50K. But I do love and accept myself. And I choose to know that I have permission to write. And I can experiment with this. These sentences will be done three times. Even though I'm scared of doing nano, it's so much work. And I don't even know if I can do it. It does mean committing to a lot of time. But I'm still totally okay the way I am. And then I'll give myself permission to do my best and enjoy the ride. Even though I have a lot of doubt about my abilities as a writer. Maybe my first time. And maybe it's my 10th novel and I still doubt myself. But I do love and accept myself anyway. And I give myself permission to just write during this month of November and to put my inner critic away. Now we move into the actual points in the tapping round and I start the inner eye. I really don't know if I can do this. I'll try point. This is so hard. Under the eye. I really have a lot of self-doubt. Under the nose. Writing a whole full novel. In one single month? Woo. All about points. I don't know if I can do that. And I don't even know if the result's going to be any good. But the thing is, if I don't do it, I'll never be out. I won't ever find out. So maybe I can do it. Maybe I can sit down and just write. And I can leave all that old self-doubt for December. 
I can put that self-doubt aside. And that old fear of failure. And maybe I can just enjoy the ride. Maybe I can enjoy this amazing energy that's generated all over the world now. This awesome creative event. There's nothing like it. I can choose to enjoy this. I can choose to put my inner critic to sleep for a month. I can choose to write a wild story. I can choose to follow a plot. There's only one rule in NaNoWriMo, and that is to write 50,000 words. No matter how, no matter when, except November. <laughs> All it has to be is a story or two or three. Nobody cares. The only thing is sit down and write. Get your story out there. Because we are all storytellers at heart. And I can choose to unleash that inner knowledge now and harness it for nano and ride this wave of creative joy and to have fun and this feels so much better I choose to right now now take a comfortable breath and if you have anything to drink like my mug of gray Take a sip of something to drink. We have been working with the energy system. And if you had to yawn during the tapping or if you had, you feel like there is a shudder running over your skin and your body, that is actually uh, normal. <laughs> that happens when you work with the energy system. And I would like you just to be open to any changes you might feel in your in your motivation, in your self-talk, and do know that you have permission to enjoy the writing for this month, to enjoy whatever your amazing writing brain will come up with, and to create a shitty first draft. It'll all need editing. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Get that story out. And I love you. I'll see you again next week. And if you have any questions, tell me. Like my page, Righteous Dream Coach. Um, like my website. I have a newsletter that goes out once a week with inspiration, with tapping rounds, with a writing prompt. And if you want support in a friendly, loving group, join my Facebook group. It's called The Right. W-R-I-T-E, the right mindset. And I'm happy, I'll be happy to have you there. And uh, I'll see you again next week with another live video about another topic. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>